So no one else wanted to come. It's literally me and Joe. Oh my god, there's a load of one there. Don't know. A woman whose sister and mother were shot by her stepfather at the family farm in Surrey. My mother's just been shot. Keeper's got in shot. My mother's just been shot. Running for my life. 10 out 10. That staircase right there is supposedly where they found the girl laying down. Eighty-two-year-old John Lowe murdered his wife Christine and stepdaughter Lucy Lee, along with four puppies in 2014. Police had returned his shotguns to him before he murdered them. <sighs> Isn't she brave? So then he beat her, shot the dogs, then stood over her with that gun. <laughs> Kid, absolute monster. <laughs> As you can see from the title, this video is crazy. But before it starts, I want to let you guys know that I'm sorry for being away for so long. I know I've been ghosting, but I've been away for a good reason. I recently graduated with a biomedical degree, and I also proposed to my now fiancé, Ebru. If you guys want to see the proposal and want to know everything else, I will do a video very soon. Uh, and I'll try and make it as interesting as possible. But before we go on, I also want to mention our sponsor for this video, who is 888 Sport. I know a lot of you guys are watching the Premier League right now, and you guys know what's going on with the teams and stuff, and you know who's more likely to win. I know a lot of you are probably putting down bets. This is an opportunity to make extra money with your friends and see who can make the most. They're doing an offer right now, so if you deposit £10, they actually give you £30 free. And I know if you guys are good with your accumulators, you can make a lot of money out of it. This isn't really like the casino games where, you know, you just slide and wish for the best and you're playing against a computer. This is real life matches. So if you're good and you know what teams are most likely to win, this is basically free money for you. But if you don't like football, there's also other sports. So head over to the app, download it and make sure you deposit and you'll get £30 free. They're also doing a giveaway on my Instagram where you can actually win even more money. All you have to do is tag me on my Instagram at Yusuf Hamadi with proof of you spending £10 on 888 and you receive the £30 worth of free bets. On top of that, if you tag me, you'll also be in for a chance to win in a competition. The first prize is €30, Euros, the second prize is €20, Euros, and the third prize is €10, Euros, which will be announced on my Instagram, at Yusuf Mahdi, on Monday. To some of you, it may not be a lot, but if you compare the amount of time, it's worth it. Click the link in my description if you're on your phone right now. Bear in mind, the link does not work on your laptop as it leads to an app, which you need your phone for. So pull out your phone, click the link, and if you deposit £10, you'll get £30 free. And let's get on with the video. I have three more after this. So let's go. Peace. This is probably the scariest explore I've ever done because it's a genuine, like, <laughs> I'm not going to say any keywords. That's cool. So spooky. My eyes keep playing tricks with me because, you know. Right, guys, so what happened here was that there was a double murder. I think we're here. We're here. Guys, this is one of the moments when I genuinely feel like our life is at risk. This isn't even a joke. Do you feel like that? Yeah. I feel so anxious. And I know he's nervous as hell as well. And we're just walking through a forest. This feels like epic forest, but then on top of that, we're going to a house where a double murder was committed. This feels like, a, you know, those movies that go wrong and the main characters die. We don't want to walk in the wrong land as well because this area, there's all farmers. And these farmers all have shotguns. It says puppy killer country. No, it says security, 24 hours. Oh, there's a camera right there recording us. What's that mean? That means, no, that means turn the lights off when we walk through. Okay, so there was an infrared light, turn that down. Okay. Yeah, it was facing literally the pathway. It's on the right, on the left right there. It's open. The barbed wire here is open. Is yeah, right. You just walk through. That's the trail. The trail had a camera on it. You're facing that way. No, no, face. Face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we're going to end up right under the camera. Right, let's keep going. Then. So we have to cut across it.
cold. Be careful, you don't slip. There's a hole here, mate. Okay, there's a massive slant here. Uh -huh. You slip. Okay, we're back on top. Okay, so we just had to go around the camera that we saw. Okay, I'm just jumping. How's it going? Oh, Don't do that, you must give me a heart attack. Right, turn your light off. The one grid gate is closed, security dogs on patrol. Oh, there's a van there. There's a white van. Go back. Go back where? Wait, 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 calm down. It could just be an abandoned van. What, at this time? Yeah, think about it, someone's gonna have to come at night. Tom, man, we'll be fine, trust me. The guy will be sleeping, man, he's snoring, it's 3 in the morning. Just be quiet and turn the light off. I don't want to stand over the van there and the light off. Right, let's go to the center. Behind the tree or something. Just go down, like, get low, so you can't see us. This is where we are. The building's in front of us, but there's a van at the end of this road here. Just want down the images. So we need to go right here. And go follow the whole path. Yeah, the windscreen's facing that way, isn't it? Huh? The windscreen's facing that way. Surely the best idea is to go that way. Okay, okay so we're gonna either go this way and around, because there's a van right here, a security van. That's so we're gonna go around this We can't carry on this way, because the windscreen's <gasps> facing that way. I know that's right. That's why I put my hands up. He's sitting and stinging that was... <laughs> I'm thinking my arse is starting to itch. <laughs> Make sure we get out of this thing now. <laughs> Without being seen. Think yeah, we can, through the forest. Trust me, there's no way we can do this at daytime. We have to go back. There's no way we can do this at daytime. Look at night, sorry. There's literally no way. Let's just try if it falls, then we run. A van chasing us. It's not one. You can't drive through the forest, can you? Wait, I, I don't think we can do this. I think we can easily do this, we're just not. I don't think we can. We're not the first ones that have gone the same route. Look at this, someone's done that on purpose. It's so funny how explorers think the same, isn't it? Yeah. Like the people before us went there, saw the van come back around. <laughs> There's so many stinging that was man. I think it is, man. I'm so confused. What is that? What is this? Someone's ripped open the, the fence here. Huh? Look, it's literally to our right. This is it. We're here. Let's keep going this way, don't you? No, oh, it looks like a hay bale store. You're right. You're stinging that was uh, oh, finishing me. Yo, I'm in so much pain. I could scream right now. I mean, is it worth it? I've gone this far. If you think I'm turning back now, you must be having a laugh. He's active, he's probably sleeping, he's probably writing his last. No, we're here now, we're gonna explore it and then we're gonna come back. But you just got in? Literally, we walked through forest. How far are you from the car now? 10 15 minutes. Like 15 minutes, literally. That's straight back, that's not going through the road, forest. We had to avoid a camera, we went around that camera, then we went over another fence, then we went through the forest, and then we saw a van, you then we. Again. I share my location, so I do like put an hour or day or whatever, just in case. I, I do it. You do the same thing in call, I do share my location. Yeah. And then you click end of the day or hour of the location. Alright, cool. I'll do that now.
guys, so apparently this guy used to keep um, monkeys as well, illegally. This is where they actually kept the dogs. I think these are dog kennels, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. There's a couple of them. Row by row. And as the girl's a puppy farmer, this makes a lot of sense. It's a dirty bath here. Why is there so? I don't know. I want to open this. Thank God there's no head in there. Look at this hammer. What's that hammer used for? It's a weird looking one. It looks like it comes out of shut as well, maybe? Mm. In case of fire, open all exterior dog run and stable doors. No, there's a bunch of them. Nora Dean Daniels. That looks like bird cages. It's kept shut by one screwdriver. These are some bad conditions. Right, let's go to the main building. These conditions seem pretty bad, but I don't know what normal puppy farms look like, so... Whoa. So I don't really have much to compare it to. Main house is right there. This looks like a security box. Like there's another door here. There's more cages here. No, that was this. That was no, this. There's a red light over there, facing this way. We have to go. Where? Let's go through this tree, sir. In case you can't see it, but there's a van right in front of us. They have 446 pounds left in the year. That's a problem. Where's it? There's alarms. If that means it's running. There's an alarm. I'm saying this is too much. This is too much. Guys, that staircase right there is supposedly where they found the girl laying down. If there are any spirits present, we don't mean to be disrespectful, we're just trying to bring light to what happened here. And if any family members are watching this as well, I hope this doesn't cause any, like, upset. There's no damn gas, they wouldn't let gas run. They will shut Trust me. Let's get it. You're literally trying to make that excuse to throw away. I'm not joking. You're going to smell that gas. That's what that smells like. No, I don't. Sure. I'm 99% sure. Okay, let's continue about I don't hear no gas escaping, I don't smell no gas. If you feel faint at any point, feel free to step in. This is like one of the most surreal 
explosive if it Come on, man. Joe, you've done a hundred explores. Really? This is like the sketchy thing I've ever done. There's a dog finger or a dog leg kind of thing. It's an old suitcase. are broken so I think that suggests we walk around there. So they are infrared and the meter's running so I'm guessing they're using the power here and there's a white van outside so we're going to skim through this place and we're going to make it out as fast as possible we have to go back through the forest but guys the scariest thing is about all of this is that someone the mother was shot first so I'm not sure where she was shot but I'm guessing the daughter came back here and also was shot in the chest because she was shot in the chest and the head so I'm guessing she was first shot here and then shot in the head by the staircase over there which her body was found rest in peace and if your spirit is present here I'm sorry for what happened that's a vinyl right? there's an old cassette down there as well it's just it's surreal to me because this only happened four years ago the crazy thing about all of this like this is the most likely place that it went down right? Oh, because the girl's body was found in the garden there so she must have been chased and it's sad because I don't know man it's it's just evil yeah do you know what I'm saying I don't know how you can bring yourself to do that do you it's not it's not a person I don't want to say what I'm about to say but don't say it I mean it let's just go because we're bringing up what happened here, and they're obviously present. Alright, let's go through here and go left, because we came out there, innit? Let's just scope this, let's just see it and go left. This, so the man supposedly kept the monkeys here, illegally. I don't want to say his name because he's so evil that it'll probably you know, stress out if there are any spirits or anything present on that, if you believe of anything like that. Yeah, so this is the whole house from behind. Hopefully the van can't see this light. I've always worried about cameras in the van down there. Huh? There's a camera down there. I've just seen it when we came out of the yeah. window. I'm not going in there. It's, it's unstable, looks like it's going to collapse any minute. Don't even touch the wood on the floor there. Yes, this is pretty much everything explored. Alright guys, now we need to move out before the security get onto us. Do you think these are shotgun shots? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I don't want to verify it, but these could have been shots. I don't know. There's syringes. All in here. Joe, hurry up. Be careful. Worst case scenario, we just keep walking to the light. We can't figure it out. Oh, there we go. There's a the path. Oh, 
Alright guys, so it's daylight now. This is probably one of the hardest explores I've ever done in my life. Putting aside going through the forest or evading security, but the fact that the whole event was so surreal, like this was a real thing, it happened four years ago. Like this double murder wasn't a joke, it wasn't like me saying um, it's supposedly haunted or anything like that. Like everything was real. And to kind of envision what may have happened at the place and see the way the incident may have been carried out. Murders and disasters happen every day and we're kind of desensitized to it as people. But when you kind of step in there and you kind of see what may have actually gone down and you experience it firsthand, it's very hard hitting. But if any family members are watching this video, I know it may be hard for you to replay the whole event. So I hope you don't see this video as being disrespectful. This was only to bring light to the event that occurred. I'm sorry for your loss. No, there's not much else I can say. You've probably heard everything. And if I was in your in, in your position and I saw someone make a video in the house, I hope you understand that I I was as respectful as possible. I did not damage anything, I did not break anything, I did not touch anything. Like anything that was open, I just I just wanted to see it firsthand. I wanted to show the audience, I wanted them to I want my audience to understand what occurred in that place and I feel like this man that carried out this crime is evil and you get a lot of people and you, it's kind of hard to grip together why it occurred. Audience, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational in some sense, I guess. I know you guys probably watch a lot of like Netflix series about murder series and stuff like that, but so this is a little different. It's a, it's a lower budget version. I don't do a lot of exploring videos anymore because there's not a lot that interests me, but this was one of those hard hitting rule events that occurred so i had to explore it if you want to see my face again and you're new make sure you put channel notifications on and comment i subscribe for a like on the comment and i hope to see you guys soon peace